going back to that we first met in NYU in 2017, and you gladly let me try uh, your university's fMRI scan, scan, sorry. And for your information, it was super cool, but super uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people do that. I could like barely last a minute. <laughs> And I actually found you through uh, reading about your research collaboration with Spotify, where you, you investigated your what you stream, music and driving, the new golden age of audio. Uh, tell us about this collaboration and what kind of findings did you see? So, yeah, Spotify, I don't I'm not even sure exactly how I got connected with them, but it was awesome. Um, it's cool because they're, you know, doing we're kind of interested in similar questions and they're from the more you know applied end and i'm from the more just basic science curiosity about the mind kind of end um but they approached me to work on this project the big project i did with them was on music and driving and um it was a collaboration with them and with ford cars and um ford was uh, had a new car coming out in uh, in europe and they wanted a piece of research about music and driving um because the car had i think some fancy speakers in it or something and uh, so we thought well what can we study with music and driving and i'm interested in emotion and so we designed and, and it, we had a very short time scale that we had to do this on um we designed a study where we wanted to see how does listening to different types of music and during your um commute morning commute influence your mood for the rest of the day so we had people um we developed four different playlists and so spotify has um uh, data on all of the, their music. They, um, have like features that they designate, like, I don't know what the names of the features are, but the ones we looked at, I would call valence and arousal, which are two like standard emotional terms. Like, so valence would be how positive or negative emotion is the emotion of the song. So a high valence would be like happy or joyful, um, or peaceful, like positive emotions, low valence would be like sad or angry or scared arousal i think this they call this energy at spotify maybe i don't remember but high arousal would be like um very energizing um probably like more fast tempo so that would be like happy or angry whereas low arousal would be sad or peaceful so valence and arousal are separable dimensions so we created these playlists um, one had high valence, high arousal, one had high valence, low arousal, one had low valence, high arousal, one had low valence, low arousal. And so the music sounded different. So like the high valence, high arousal would be like upbeat, uh, major mode, like happy sounding music, et cetera. So anyway, we took four groups of people, we gave them this play, these playlists and we said, okay, listen to this during your morning commute. Before their commute, they rated their current um, emotional state. And then right after they com their commute, they rated it again, and then they rated it for up to two hours after the commute. So what we found, which was I think the most interesting part, was that the people who had the high valence playlists showed the most changes in their positive mood. So it didn't, or sorry, arousal, not valence. It didn't matter the valence, so the positive or negative. It just mattered the high energy, high arousal music tended to have the strongest impact on their positive mood. So positive mood. So people who listened to these really energizing playlists felt more positive after their commute and that lasted throughout the day. It really shows the, the power that music has.